Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Thursday, January 11th. We have a new moon today in Capricorn, and gosh, I hope you're having a good week. Um, got Thelma here. You see a little paw. She was walking around before I kind of waited for her to lay down before I got the video going. She was quite, quite uh, animated, pushing everything around, the camera around, everything. So I'm like, I'll just wait. <laughs> so. Let's see what today's energy is going to be all about. This, this, this new moon, new moons always bring new beginnings, new starts, new opportunities. So let's see what opportunities um, and new beginnings are coming our way. So far, it's the Seven of Wands. All right, two more cards. There's another card. Can't see it. It's upside down. And one more, please. One more card for the new moon. There's a couple here. I'm not going to take those. Too many. I'm not going to take those. Just one more, please. Oh, I see it. One here. Actually, there's two here. I'll take these two. All right. So, we'll. oh, there was three. I, they really didn't want to come out, I guess. I'll take them. That's how it works sometimes. All right. So, we have a seven of wands. We have a king of cups. Knight of swords. Nine of Swords in reverse, and a Four of Wands. Well, I kind of mentioned yesterday in the video that, that there was new seeds of compassion and um, inspiration coming into play. And the Seven of Wands could be a defensive energy. It could also be an energy where we're offering up um, I was taking a stance on who we are as an individual. And this King of Cups is offering support to you as you stand up for yourself or have compassion for yourself or try to inspire yourself. There is, there is, th this King of Cups is supporting you right now. It really, okay, okay, come on, keep going. All right. She wants to be a part of the show. Um, so the King of Cup re really wants to be supportive right now to you as you go through this Seven of Wands energy. Come here. The Seven of Wands energy. And it it's trying to get you to understand that there is um, something... This energy of standing up for yourself or taking the stance is important right now, especially in Capricorn, because Capri uh, this new moon in Capricorn is about responsibility and responsibility for who you are. And then this Knight of, oops, this Knight of Swords is coming in to, um, to to stand for that that truth, the truth of who you are, um, and that's what that. Seven of Wands is trying to accomplish. He's trying to stand up for himself and stand up for the the, um, the confidence that it is, it, confidence that you are. And, and the Nine of Swords, then, it's in reverse because the, it's the end of the sleepless nights. It's the end of the mind torment of trying to prove yourself and trying to be better or trying to find the value within yourself. And then the great part is the Four of Wands. It's a portal opening into springtime, as you can see, that's fertile ground here. And there's bunnies. This kind of reminds me of, you know, walking into a spring morning, spring afternoon, and just enjoying it. But this is a portal opening. And it's being rooted. It's got this red root chakra energy. It's being rooted in a sense of, security, safety, um, foundation, because it's a four card. So it has a foundational, a new foundation, which is what I've been kind of saying all week leading up to this moment. This new moon is bringing in opportunities, new seeds of compassion for yourself, inspiring you to, to recognize the value within yourself. We don't need to be valued uh, to feel valued from other people. We just need to know we are value, that we as an individual 
holds value and we need to live in that truth and we need to hold that truth and despite anything that's going on outside of our world it, it, in, outside of our lives we need to remember that in every single moment because we can get distracted very easily in the day-to-day -day dramas in the day-to-day -day experiences as you saw earlier this week i missed doing my video because i was caught up in the the previous day drama and it, i wasn't in the moment so in every single each moment know your value know have compassion for yourself as you go through these changes and these these opportunities and i when i say opportunities i'm seeing opportunities as challenges and obstacles because when we look as a challenge and we look at a obstacle it just sounds better if we say it's an opportunity because both of those are giving us opportunities to grow and learn and move forward. And film is being so good. So anyways, that's my video for today. I hope that you enjoyed this and Thelma says hello. She's being such a good girl. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day and a great new moon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.